Look, the Jaguars needed this win, and they needed it bad. Look, a win doesn't change any of the issues that exist with this team, but it does put them back to problems that you think about in the offseason. The Jaguars are kind of back on that winning track and could win the AFC South next week. So those issues are problems for the Jaguars' future selves. Right now, they have plenty of business to take care of. And uh, this year has basically been a copy and paste of last season. Just kind of flipped the early season, and it all comes down to a game against Against the Titans. This time, the game's in Nashville, though. Jaguars have won their last three games against the Titans. One on Sunday would give them four straight against Tennessee. That's something that the Jaguars haven't done since they were the Tennessee Oilers, just to give you an idea how long it's been. This year has basically been just a, a redo of last year, except some of the early season success has kind of faded. Jaguars still have to close things out with a big win over a division rival in Nashville. This is a tough one for them, that they have to figure out a way to get done. But overall, to get the win, they just have to follow the same formula that they followed today. Keep it simple. Do the little things. Tackle. Don't turn the ball over. Force turnovers. These are all things that the Jaguars need to do. It's simple winning football. Keep it simple. Just press that easy button. It works on most levels, from high school, peewee, college, and in the NFL, it all works. The Jaguars are kind of back on that right track where they want to be, and some of the things that helped them get there were a few slight shakeups. The offensive line and the pass rush thrown a sack party. So let's talk about the offensive line first. They've been in rough shape for weeks. This week, Cam Robinson got back on the field, and the team's now 7-1 with him this year. He said in the locker room after the game he doesn't like that because he just does his job, but you know what? Cam Robinson, a big part of helping the Jaguars win some games. But so is Tyler Shatley. He's back in the starting lineup at guard, and Shatley is a guy that the Jaguars just seem to keep coming back to. They keep trying to replace him. They've thrown out Ben Barch, Edgerick Cleveland, Walker Little, and somehow they keep going back to this guy because he is a key to what they do, and the Jaguars' offensive line is just better when these two guys are out on the field and maybe even out on the field together. As for the Jaguars' pass rush, Josh Allen had a couple of sacks today, set the Jaguars' new single-season sack record for the Jags, and Trayvon Walker has his first multi-sack game. Two sacks today against the Panthers. Walker now has nine sacks on the season, just one away from Dudgeville digits. And all I'm going to say is, Trayvon has more sacks than Aiden Hutchinson this year. So yeah, the Jags picked Trayvon over Aiden. Before the season, my question I asked everyone was if Josh and Trayvon both had double-digit sacks this year, would that mean that the Jaguars are in a run-in for a trip to Vegas for the Super Bowl? Everyone I asked the question to before the year said yes. But don't look now. Trayvon one sack away from uh, maybe making that happen. So maybe, just maybe, Jaguars can have a fun end to the season. It's also possible a lot of people didn't expect him to get to that double-digit sack mark, but here we are now. 